Hello all, May 28, 2012. There's a little bit of news in the oil business. Brent crude. As you know, the price of Brent crude has been going down, all the way down to uh, 106.8. But this morning, it just kept going up and up and up, almost all the way up to 108. But then it came all back down to 107, and at present, it's somewhere in the 107.6 range. Can't figure it out, can we? Just Wall Street doing its thing. All right, it's time to go up and look at to see how many oil barges there are in San Francisco Bay. Uh, the last couple days there have been no oil barges in San Francisco Bay. Now what is that? That doesn't look like an oil barge. It looks more like a like an aircraft carrier under construction. Hmm. And that other little thing, that doesn't really count. It's too uh, small. So I can't really say that there's any barges in the bay. That makes, what, three days in a row without barges in San Francisco Bay. Uh, I'm sure we're going to see something of it. I would suspect we're going to see gas shortages. A dilemma though, if the governor says he'll relax the gas standard and let the uh, regular gasoline be used, first of all the cars here are set up for the other type of gas and it would quickly ruin the catalytic converters and that sort of thing in the cars. And the second thing is that we'd start choking on the pollution. So there's so uh, somewhat of a dilemma, isn't there? Let's go check out and see what uh, gasoline prices are doing. This is the inexpensive gas station. The expensive gas station. Okay, let's uh, head on over and check out what the uh, the news is that I have. We have one news item. Well, it looks like the Saudis have increased their oil production from 7.9 million barrels per day to 9.1 million barrels per day. They did this back in 2011. They're just sucking at the straw faster. The Saudis gave a warning last week saying that we need to prepare for less oil and that they're using up their reserves quickly and that uh, the embargo on Iran may not be a good thing. It may be a mistake. Do you think so? All right, from here I want to tell you about a story about the future, the year 2050. You notice how the grass has turned dark brown now, the beginning of our drought. The drought will last till probably November or even December. There was a group of people, about 15 to 20,000. The reason we know this is from our archaeology. But it turned out that about between 15 to 20,000 people decided to escape the wars and the chaos and the craziness that was going on in the U.S. at this time. The year 2050. These are the years that were called the last wars and people were getting desperate for food. These people knew that their settlement would be under attack shortly and that they had to leave. Their solution? Put a bunch of boats together, as many as they could. Strap them all together. These are ships, cargo ships, whatever they could find, and head out in the ocean as fast as they could. They only had so much fuel, maybe three days worth, they could get out in the ocean. So that's what they did. And they lived out there for about 10 years. And as they lived, they would fish and they dropped netting down underneath, which caused a reef, sort of an artificial reef, which, that they, which then they fed on and survived. After a while, a couple of the boats, apparently down in here, started to leak which caused the whole system which they built up here, which is basically a city um, that they live in, to start to sink and crack and water was getting in and it, it, it was obvious that something needed to be done. However, there were three basic groups of people. The people on the left, the people in the middle, and the people on the right. Could you imagine what's going to happen? Well, of course, there were three basic ideas coming. It was a presidential election year, and there were basically three ideas floating out there. The right sort of had basically the same idea. One idea was because the water level was so high in these boats here, causing this whole thing to sink and, and cause trouble, that all they would do is drill holes 
through the bottom of the boat as many holes as they could as fast and they came out with the idea of calling it negative pressure. So during the campaign trail, you, you would see the people on the right were, were just so hell-bent on, on drill, baby drill. That's what they would talk about. If we would drill the water out of these two boats, it would cause all the pressure in here to flow out the bottom. Now, there was a group, there, there's a small little group that said, now, now they were the far, they were the left, the true left progressed, and they had a candidate who said the idea was to come up underneath the boats and put a slab and cap the holes that way and then pump the water out. Well, both the, uh, the, the middle and the right said you're crazy, that if you vote to do that, if you vote for this group here, then this group would win. And this group said if you vote for this then this group would win. So these two group of people said, no, you have to vote for this group, which said to drill slower, less holes, a little slower. But still, it was drill. That was their solution. Just drill slower. These people were to drill faster. These people were to put a patch over it and pump the water out. So it came to voting day, and of course, this group told anybody that voted for this group that they were spoilers. And so this group decided to vote for this group so that they weren't called spoilers. And this group decided to vote for this group. Well, of course, this group won, and we decided to drill. All right. I keep losing the eraser. So, of course, the negative pressure won, and the drilling started. Now, let's go to the year 2100. There's a small spaceship heading to Earth. It arrives on Earth and lands. It's the Venetians. It's the first time they've been able to, to explore other planets. They look around at a, at a bleak landscape, flat, with some wreckage off into the distance. They head over to the distance, and they, they do extensive scientific research, and they decide that this may have been once an ocean, and that possibly this wreckage possibly could have been floating on the ocean. However, there was a group of this, these scientists that said, no, it, there couldn't have been an ocean here. And the proof is with the wreckage. And this group said, well, the, the, the scientific evidence of the soil makeup tells us that there was a lot of salt in the soil, so there must have been some kind of ocean there. And why did they think that there wasn't an ocean there? And it turns out they said, well, if this thing was floating on an ocean, why would you have a bunch of holes in the bottom of it? Drill baby drill. Well, the last video did not have good quality, quality to it because the camera, I think, is uh, on the blink or going bad. It's been used far beyond where it was supposed to be. What's that over here? Well, yeah, it's come to that time in the video. And you know, those, those birds are having a major problem still. And it's been, what, three days since? I mean, what? Uh, I'm not going to show you. But anyway, here it is. Now, I guess 28 inches. Okay. And it was from there up to there. It's very crowded today. We'll do a quick measurement here. Okay, so we have two guesses. Oh dear, we're both wrong. Three, 30 and a half inches. So, it was 30 and a half inches. So, here's a way you can help by replacing this old camera. Is that, yes, we have Pink Barrio shirts, mugs, and hats. Check them out on Pink Barrio on the blog page. Go to the description of this video. And thanks in advance for your purchase of the shirt. It'll help to uh, get a fun going for a real camera. That would be nice, wouldn't it? To actually have a real camera. Think of what I could do with that. And I've also noticed on YouTube a lot of my the people I regularly watch aren't putting videos on anymore. You know, if it's because of the new YouTube, I would just ignore it and just keep putting the videos on. You know, uh, there's a lot of us that watch those. So, anyway, until next time, guys.